to do is log into your Google Drive. The way I log into the Google Drive is I go to a new document and I like to be in Google. An amazingly interesting thing happens is if you're in Google, it will almost always log you in if you've logged in before. If you're not, you go to Google Login the same way you do it with your Chromebooks and you log in. Then if you've been saving all your files to a file folder, you go to your apps and you select your Google Drive, which is the triangle shaped one. Now it took me a long time to find this little link. It's this little arrow right here where, next to my drive. It says upload files or upload folder. If you've saved it to a folder to your Google, your desktop, because look at all of my folders. I can just start saving those and hit upload. As soon as it's done uploading, I'm going to want to double check that everything's in that Google Drive. If you don't have it in a file folder and you go to your desktop, you have to upload every single file. If you have not been saving to your desktop, it's going to be hard for you to find your files. Sometimes they are erased when you log out. That's why we always save to our desktop. Your pictures will be saved under Photo Booth. If you go to Pictures and Photo Booth, your pictures will show up here. However, if you save to your, what do you call it, the cloud account, you have a 50-50 chance of them getting erased when you log out. It just depends on how they set it up. So if you save all of your files to your Google Drive daily, excuse me, to your desktop daily, then you can just go upload folder and then it will update those fold files every day. That's even more important that you save to your desktop first when we do video and audio um, because they're such big files they won't operate from the cloud. Okay, that's the whole thing. Go save your files so you don't lose them when they re-image the computer.